These are the One Audio A70 Fusion headphones, a budget set of cans that will cost you less than a couple of cocktails in central London. And just for reference, cocktails in central London are a proper ripoff. But the A70 Fusions are certainly not. How does under 50 pounds sound here in the UK? Well, that's what I'm about to tell you in this review. And I've been reviewing headphones for several years now, but I still do not consider myself an audiophile. One does not just simply self-proclaim to be an audiophile, but I am pretty well versed when it comes to consumer audio products. So I'd like to think that you guys will trust my opinion when it comes to sound quality. So let's talk about the design. This isn't one audio's first rodeo when it comes to budget friendly headphones. These actually have 4.5 stars on Amazon with over 7,000 customer reviews. So let's see why people hold these in such high regard. So much of the structure is built from a plastic polymer and finished in silver. One audio have added some really nice fine details that I appreciate. Stuff like the thumb grip here for extending the headband and the radial pattern on the back of the ear cups that look particularly nice when the light hits them. And you will also notice there's a contrast between a matte finish, a glossy metal finish, and also brushed surfaces on the aluminum headband. And the great thing about products like this is they're very lightweight and this means they're more comfortable. And do you know what would make this more comfortable? Vegan leather and memory foam on the headbands and ear cups. And that's exactly what we got here. And my personal opinion, after prolonged usage of the A70 Fusions, is they're very comfortable. You almost forget they're there after a little while. I didn't suffer any wearing fatigue. I will say they are pretty large, particularly when you wear them like this around your neck, but that's to be expected with over the ear headphones. Going back to the details, we have this really nice embossed one audio logo across the top of the headband, similar to that that we see on the Beats by Dre. And there's also a good amount of printed branding in various locations on the headphones. And there's also printed LNR inside the ear cups, which have a nice padded lining, I might add. And this just lets you know what orientation they should be in before you start listening to some good vibrations. And here's another really nice standout design feature, in my opinion, it's the locking mechanism on the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Of course, this will only work with the provided cable that comes with it, but once you screw it in, it's really locked in there and it's very solid. So there'll be very minimal chance of any damage taking place inside the port. There's also a micro USB port on the left ear cup for charging and physical buttons for volume up, volume down and power. And that also doubles up as a Bluetooth pairing button. And if you're worried about this getting damaged whilst transporting it, you'll be happy to know there is a 24 month warranty on these if you sign up via One Audio's link when you buy them. And there's also a nice little carry case that comes with it that won't protect it from any hard knocks, but it will stop it from getting scuffed up. But check this feature out. This is something unheard of. Well, to me it is anyway. The One Audio A70s have two headphone jacks, which might seem like a crazy design choice. But check this out. Have you seen Spider-Man Far From Home where Peter wants to watch a movie with MJ on a plane using an analog splitter for the in-flight entertainment system? Well, if he had a pair of these, he wouldn't need that because these headphones have an incredibly unique feature in the sense that they can daisy chain audio to other headphones via the 6.5 millimeter audio jack. So you can stream Bluetooth audio to the A70s and use a cable to wire that sound to another set of headphones. And it can be any set of headphones that have an analog input. And you can also use two cables at the same time. So one for one device and another for another device and actually mix the sounds in the headphones. Now, having a little bit of a history with old school vinyl record decks, I can actually see how this feature could be handy for some aspiring DJs out there. Now, when it comes to the actual audio components, this seems to be an area where one audio have spent quite a bit of R&D money. We've got 40 millimeter drivers, which deliver a 20 Hertz to 20 kilohertz frequency response range. The 20 Hertz, which is the lower frequency range is quite significant because on paper, that means these headphones should have a really impressive bass output. And I will tell you what I think of that when we get to the sound section. There's also a Bluetooth 4.2 chip inside, which means you'll get really good quality and stable wireless connection that on paper can reach up to 10 meters line of sight. So connectivity shouldn't be an issue with these headphones. But here's the reason why I think One Audio have called these Diffusion is because the A70s are wired wireless 
hybrid. So that 3.5 millimeter to 6.5 millimeter cable that comes with it opens the door to a lot of possibilities for the A70s. So this cable is reversible, which means you can plug these headphones into pretty much any audio equipment, for example, DJ mixing desks, as I already mentioned, as well as electronic instruments like guitars and keyboards. And here's another hardware feature worth noting. There is a 650 milliamp hour battery built in that can last up to 72 hours of audio playback over Bluetooth. That's like a better than flagship feature there. And when they finally run out of juice, they will take two and a half hours to fully recharge. So now let's talk about sound quality. As usual, I put these through the musical genre tests that I do with all my headphones to find the category that suits the sound signature the best. So first of all, I listen to hip hop tracks. The emphasis seemed to be focused on bass straight out of the gate. So much so that the actual ear cups were vibrating on my ears. Surprisingly, the vocal range wasn't lost in the heavy bass and the hi-hats are still very present there as well and not too sharp, which is a nice thing. Then I listened to dance music, more electronic dance music. And here I noticed that the A70s performed particularly well when it was just vocals on their own. And this really opened up the soundstage feeling you get from these, which was really quite epic. But once the bass and the hi-hats and the mids all kicked in, the clarity in the vocals and that soundstage felt not quite as good as it was standalone. But overall, very impressed with the EDM performance. Again, the bass really shone. Now, when it came to rock music, what I really listened for in the sound signature with this particular genre is instrumental details as well as vocal detail. And I must say, I was pleasantly surprised. You can hear all of the guitar strings and the snare drums very clearly. They're very present. Most of the pieces of the song had good separation. But again, there was a distinct emphasis on bass, which is not necessarily what you want in rock songs, but maybe you do, let me know in the comments below. And last but not least was the orchestral opera type genre. So I always test this genre with headphones because it's an excellent test for vocal range and also soundstage. And the focus of the one audio sound signature is really the low end frequencies in my opinion. Vocals do sound good though, and soundstage is respectable given the incredible price that these come in at. Overall, when it comes to the sound signature on these, I would say they're perfectly tuned for EDM, hip hop, and more modern styles of music where you want heavy bass and the vocals and the soundstage aren't necessarily as important. And if you're wondering about the mic quality, so what you're listening to right now is the built-in mics on the actual headphones themselves. It appears to be only on the right-hand side though. But there is another option, and that is the inline microphone on the cable that comes with it. So what I've done here is I've actually plugged in the wired mic and wired it into the computer directly. And what you're hearing is the quality from the inline microphone right now. Which one sounds better? Let me know in the comments below. And now, you know what time it is. It's time for my favorite section, Fackle. So can you use these with a TV? So the simple answer is yes, of course you can. These have Bluetooth, which means you could connect to a more modern TV via Bluetooth. And if you don't have a more modern TV and you have a TV with a headphone analog out port, you could just wire these in if you wanted to. Can you connect them to a laptop? Yes, just like a TV. Of course you can connect these to a laptop. Can you use them with a game console? So for a PlayStation, for example, you could plug these into the controller the only downside is you won't be able to use the mics on board. However, if you have a PS5, the controller actually has a mic built into it, so you could use it that way. So you'd use these for the audio and the inbuilt microphone on the pad for your voice chat. Are they suitable for running? Given that these are so lightweight, they will be comfortable for running. One thing I will say about them though, is they don't have the tightest grip on your head. So if you have a slightly smaller head, they might move around if you're running very fast. If you're going for a light jog, they'll be perfect. Are they waterproof? Unfortunately, these haven't been designed to be waterproof. One thing I noticed about the design of these is there are no holes on the top of the ear cups and there's no gaps or there's very little gaps for water to get into. I do not recommend you wear them in the rain or heavy rain, but I definitely think they can handle a few light splashes. Does the audio sound better via the wire? So the simple answer to that is yes, you audio files out there will know the cable is still the best way. Bluetooth is getting pretty damn close now, but audio via a wire plugged directly into a good source will always sound better at this point in time anyway. Can people around you hear what you're listening to? Well, let's do a little test.
Here's the last couple. Can you plug it into an amp? Yes, you can plug it into an amp. Just be careful not to exceed the output of the device because you can end up blowing the speakers. How long is the 3.5 to the 6.5 millimeter cable that comes with it? As you can see, this is a coiled cable and actually this can go up to three meters in length. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. If you want to check out the current price, link below the video. See you guys in the next one. Don't be late.